Out of Saskatchewan, the Global Institute for Food Security has just come forward with a study in partnership with the Br University of British Columbia that says Canadians' total agriculture emissions, as part of the emissions in Canada, agriculture is 8%. I repeat, 8%. All other jurisdictions are around that 25% and higher as portion of their agriculture emissions. Would it not be better for us to take our sustainability across the world and help people lower their emissions than continue to punish the people that create food in our country? Because, like I said, it's very weird for a government to be so upset that the policy they implement is actually working and food prices are higher because of their policies. So I think a couple of things can be true at the same time, right? We can have one of the lowest emission food producing systems in the world and there still be an opportunity to reduce our emissions further, right? Uh, often the big winners from reducing emissions are Canadian farmers themselves. Fertilizer emissions uh, represent fertilizer that farmers have paid for that's not doing the job that it was intended to do. Again, I think the question gets to be, what's the right approach you do to kind of build on that competitive advantage? How do you take the low emissions agriculture that we have, turn it into a competitive advantage, turn it into a, a tool for good. And, and I think there's a lot of opportunities to take different approaches that, that help farmers out and, and grow that Canadian advantage we have. As you're a farmer, I just want to say thank you for the job you do and appreciate your answers to my questions.